Yes, yes, yes. Power 96, Casey Chops here with the homie. Uh, Kent Jones, he's got a record buzzing right now. Don't mind. What up, Brad? Yeah, 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 it was good. Appreciate you for having me, man. Thank you, man. How's everything? How's everything Wonderful. Moving? Wonderful. Good? You know, I can't complain. You know, it's just most importantly making sure, you know, I'm on point, making sure the team on point, making sure, you know, we de we deliver uh, the message. No doubt. So you got this Don't Mind record. It's picking up steam right now. Yeah. Um, First of all, where are you from? I'm from Florida, and I, I'm actually I was born and raised in Tallahassee. Okay. Then I moved to then I went to Tennessee. Shout out to my mom whole side of the family over there. Okay. And they still live, live up there, like my grandparents. Okay. And then I moved to South Florida. Okay, dope. So if you don't know who Kent Jones is, um, I'm sure you've seen him on DJ Khaled's Snapchat. You've seen him on Cool and Dre's Snapchat. You are officially signed to Cool and Dre. Their label is Epidemic and slash We the Best with DJ Khaled, right? Absolutely. And now talk about that. That's a big deal. Talk about how that came about. Uh, you know, I was working with Cool and Dre for for a few years, number of years. How did that link happen? Like how? Did... Um, you know, Cool took me when I was like nineteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, like when I was eighteen, nineteen years old, and just been working with him. And you know, Dre was in LA for like a year, and he came down. And I started working with him for about three, four years. Mm -hmm. and then they introduced me to Khaled about like a year and a half ago, and you know, it was a great, it was a beneficial move for for my career, and um, it was something that we felt was necessary right you know or you know it, it, it for, for it was necessary for my career right and so it was. cool you produce as well you're Absolutely. an artist and you produce the music you yeah. you make um did cool did they see that like the whole package with you or like you how, know, how did that connection come about like musically funny story is in the beginning i um uh, it was just only mu music i was playing i was playing instruments on on the beats uh -huh. and then i would start letting them hear my own beats uh -huh. and then the music after a while it was like okay you started laying some hooks down yeah and, and, okay and then um i actually uh at one at, at one point i actually was i was signed with um with fat joe Gotcha. At one point, if you in fact, if you go back on the internet and you look and you look up Kent Jones, the uh -huh. early Kent Jones was, uh -huh. was Fat Joe, wow, and all of that. So and that's you know Joe assigned me as an artist mm -hmm. as well. And so when I after you know situations transpired or whatever, we ended up uh, grounding up as a team, uh -huh. you know, collectively, on um, which Uncle Crack still is in my, in my corner to this day. He's real and I love him. And um, you know, we made it work. We made it work. So you got a lot of heavyweights in the game. Like you got the heavy cosign, bro. Like you got. So I have this picture in my head. Like when you first met Khaled, right? Right. Was it maybe in the studio or when you first played him a record? How did that? How did that go? Did he like? What was his reaction? Because I just, I'm just thinking of like a Khaled Snapchat right well, now. Well, Khaled had heard the music. Uh huh. I guess beforehand with Dre because Cool and Dre introduced me to him. Okay. But. Khaled was on a, like a, a yacht or something like that. And of course he was. It was one the next day. Like it was it was on a the night before he had followed me on Instagram and he started looking at my videos and and then the next day it was like Ken Jones, Ken Jones, Ken Jones. And then the day after that is when I met him and we we got in. He actually he already heard the music. So so when he did he that was, first like co sign like on Snapchat or you was like oh shit like now he yeah at first it was Instagram then it was like yo gotcha. it's crazy and then. It just started to build over time, and then we built we building the ship. Started building the ship. Mm -hmm. I dropped the mixtape tours, which is out right now. It's the same tape as Don't Mind. Okay. And um, uh, from the tours, you know, he he actually got to listen to it before. Wow. Uh, we actually put the final track listing together. Wow. Which, by the way, and this is not on him, uh -huh. but just collectively as a team. By the way, that song almost didn't make the track listing. Wow. Uh, tours Don't Mind. It almost wow. wasn't didn't come out. So and how how did that um how did that record come about then? Well, I had to fight to make sure they uh -huh. made it. You know, sonically. So you personally believed in that record heavy. Yeah, I felt like we needed to add it on there. I felt like it was. I didn't. I'm not gonna sit here and and say I knew that was the one. Right. I knew because I didn't. Right. None of us did. So how did it come about as far as like s choosing that record to push and put put a bag behind it? Well, I'm well. See, with that as far as that's concerned. Um, that's that the people decided that for us. Got you. Yeah, and the beautiful thing is, is people come ask me all the time. So, what's the next single? What's the next single? What's the next? This is this is. I said we didn't know that was going to be the, the, the first single. <laughs> you know what I mean? Word. 
So it was it was a matter of the people helping us make that decision through, you know, the internet presence of the song, uh-huh. uh, building, uh-huh. and it's built to a wonderful level now, and it's uh-huh. going even more. It's going to go viral, and then from that to uh, the clubs, DJs right. playing it in the clubs. Right. You understand what I mean? And, right. and then after that, the mix shows, how many people, and now it's just, you know, it's the number one most added record in urban radio. Kent Jones, Don't Mind, and I guess that's the kind of like the climate we're in now to where you don't really pick a single. It's like you put out a body of work and let the fans choose because yeah, you got I, the internet. Man, KC, I laugh, man. I laugh when people say, oh, you know, this is going to be the first, the hit single of my my, my yeah. mixtape, but this may be. So you never know. You f- around and make like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star the remix. Well, well and let's, that- let's say this. Let's say this. I'll be fair, all right? For those people that do, don't necessarily agree with it's impossible to know your first single. You can know your first single. Yeah. Because you can pick your first single. Right. Now, a hit single is when the people pick. Right. If it single. does well. That's a hit single. Right. All right. A, anybody can have a single. You're right. Right. That. George Washington had a single. He's on it to this day. Hey. <laughs> we got Ken Jones in the building. Epidemic. We the best. So now the live shows are picking up, right? Big time. So where are we going next? What continent are we traveling to? What prints are we performing for? You mean? Well, we have people in. We have people that want me to come to Africa. We have people that want me to come to London, especially London. We got people over in, uh, where was the girl from from last night? You need to the get that Dubai France. check. Dubai? Ugh. It's planned in Dubai right now. Okay. But it's crazy you say that because last night, that's what I was talking about. Last night I was at the club, Trap, when we was at Mokai. Last night I was at the club. It was, a, it was a, like an African guy or he was Haitian or something like that. And you know what I'm talking about, right? And he's like, yo, you know, you're so, Dubai is playing in Dubai, is playing in France. That's crazy. Playing. And so, okay, let's say over here. The Bahamas, by the way, shout out to Bahamas. I'll be there in the next, what, how, how long, Pat? Two weeks? Next two weeks, I'll be in the Bahamas. It's going to be crazy over there because the record is number one over there right now. Right. Wow. So, Kent Jones over there is like a rock star. Hey. But now we work, we, we focusing on, let's hit these states. Gotcha. You know, let's, let's go to... Um, Let's let's finish Florida off. Let's go to let's go back to New York, but we're not gonna go right back to New York. We're gonna work our way up through the mm-hmm. circuit. Gotcha. You know, and we go over to L.A. You're getting those spikes on Hot 97. Coast. That's important. You're getting those New Big York time. spikes. Big time. Mm-hmm. Shout out Peter Rosenberg. Shout out DJ Enough. Shout out DJ Envy. Shout out DJ Self. Shout out DJ Kalu. Dope. You know. So and what's crazy about that record is you actually reference like you don't reference you. Sp- you speak like four different languages on that track. Like you say, I'm not gonna say speak, but you know what I mean. I made sure I knew just enough to say hello to every woman I yeah. wanted to say. So hello you to. said it in Creole. You said it Spanish. in S- Spanish. You said it in said Korean. It, uh, Asian, Chinese. We are gonna sound ignorant. Korean. We gotta figure what the oh Konnichiwa was that Korean, was Korean, Japanese, or Japanese, Japanese. Japanese. There it is. Forgive right. me. Japanese. So uh, it was Japanese. It was Spanish. It was French. French. And it was Haitian. Creole. Creole. Crazy. So, damn. What's the plan next? Like, I mean, you got the shows coming up. Mm-hmm. The record is, the record's old, but it's new to the masses. We was at Cool and Dre's spot two days ago, and he showed us the video. When's that dropping? Next two weeks. Crazy. Two and a half weeks. Crazy. So, I think Cool said something like that. Dropped that on World Star, right? Yeah, World Star, Everywhere. MTV Jam. Yeah, all the, the all the the the, the media outlets. We definitely going to the video was dope. Of. It had like a Miami tropical vibe. Where did you shoot that? Coral Gables. Coral, Coral Gables. Coral Gables. Smooth. The girls were looking right. That's what's up, man. Nah, all of them looked what? phenomenal. Hey, a lot, you had probably like a smooth six million of followers there between all those Instagram models. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? No, nah, they 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 show love. They came out. We when we matter of fact, when we pulled up, they were there already. All they the, were on time. The they Instagram were, models they were on beat time. Us there, they were there with Eve and them, the camera crew. Yeah. When the camera crew got there, they were already there. The camera crew was there, but they were there early before. Like it was, they had to get the Instagram pics off prior. Yeah, you, you know, know what I mean. They nice had to little. scope out the scene. You know. <sighs> Shout out to the beautiful young ladies. Who, hey, you know, Kent Jones in the building. Part. Epidemic, we the best. I appreciate you coming through, bro. Big time. The doors always open. You know that record does sound like a crossover vibe. You know what I mean. And I'm happy that you're not chasing a sound. Thank you know you. what I mean? I'm happy that you're not chasing a sound. I'm happy that it sounds different. It sounds like it's in its own lane, you know? You understand melody. You produce as well. So, um, 
is that something you want to get into as well is just like production for other artists and oh man yeah. shout out the game documentary too i think i had two joints on there Ooh, one which with ones? my brother a little producer with the one uh with with absol okay on it and the other one with Lil Wayne the from 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 Adam or is it from Adam, okay. or something like that. Okay. And um, th- shout out to Currency, the single he just did with uh with Todd Allison, the superstar in my car. I produced that. Heavy. I, I did cars with the booming systems. Okay. I did uh, a couple joints on that Saturday Night Cartoons. Okay. Um Shout out. Um, who else did I produce for this year? Damn. So you got some credits, bro. Yeah. You no, oh, shout out Lil Wayne. Free Weezy album, track 15. I did that with Cool and Dre. Shout out Yo Gotti. The album before this, the the I Am album, I did uh-huh. the, the title cut with Cool and Dre as well. Damn. Oh, well, I got another one, but I ain't going to talk about that one yet. Hey, no, nah, don't. Don't don't yeah, release the info yeah, yet. Yeah, no, Kent no Jones, yo, plug your uh, Snapchat, social media, MySpace if you're on Tinder. Let the creeps know you're on Tinder. You know what I mean? I'm on All Bumble. Right. Bumble's wavy. I'm yeah. st- My MySpace low-key is still lit. So, everybody, go to MySpace.com. No, I'm playing. Go to Instagram.com <laughs> slash Kent Jones. Well, at Kent Jones official at Instagram. Twitter.com at Kent Jones WTB. Uh, Snapchat, King Kentus 22 uh, Kentus as in... K E N T U S 22 King Kentus 22. That's my Snapchat and uh, pornhood.com. Hey.